Hey everyone, it's Faxon. So today I'm going to do part one of a two-part tutorial about mapping out complicated wigs. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to use technology to your advantage to get a more accurate scale for your wigs, as well as planning out complicated spikes so that you're well prepared to take on your project. Before I get started with the tutorial, I'm just gonna say a few things. So if you wanna get to the action, just skip right ahead. And if you want to just watch the wig styling, you don't really care about the prep and just wanna watch because you like watching good wig style, then go to the second part of the video, because in the first part I'm pretty much just going to go over the technicalities of everything, but it is important if you want to learn that kind of stuff. So anyways, I was just going to say thanks everyone for sticking with me. I know that my uh, video quality has been kind of crappy lately to say the least. I'm not home right now, so when I get back home I'm going to use like a better quality camera, better lighting and all that stuff, so like the actual visual and auditory quality of videos will be much better so please stay tuned and look forward to that. Okay so going on to prep. Obviously you are going to need your wig. For the sake of this tutorial I'm doing a Ventus slash Roxas wig. I think it's a perfect example considering how bad crazy the spikes are. Thank you Square Enix. We love you. So anyways I have my wig. Um, it's one wig mixed with a bunch of different wefts from other wigs. Step number one is going to be compiling all of your reference pictures. Now of course it's ideal if you have a figurine or something to work off of, but I do not. So I'm going to be using a bunch of reference pictures. This technique is perfect if you are someone like me who gets really crazy and meticulous over details and accuracy. So if you just, you know, say, I like Roxas's hair kind of swishy, and therefore I'm gonna leave the spikes really loose, go right ahead, that's totally fine. I'm going to show you how to make it like game accurate spikes looking like that, that 3D rendered hair. I'm not saying that this is necessary for complicated spikes, but it's a very handy tool to have in your toolbox. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so I started here by taking all of my reference pictures of rocks that I'm going to use and putting it into Photoshop. I'm taking this particular picture here and I'm going to go in and outline the different spikes in his hair. The trick to this is that I'm going to color code them based on how close they are to the top of the scalp and move back. The easiest way to keep track of this, I think, is to do rainbow colors, so I'm going to start with red to highlight the spikes closest to the top of the scalp. I suggest doing this on another layer so that you can remove it and see what's going on underneath if you want to take a look at your reference picture again without the lines in the way. A lot of this is kind of guesswork, but I think it's really helpful in creating a sense of depth perception when it comes to the placement of the spikes. Now we have the entire front view of the hair sectioned off into sort of a cheat sheet. I have this on a separate layer so I can quickly go back and forth between seeing what the hair looks like without this map I've drawn. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing for the left view of the hair. I have two different pictures of this, one from a cutscene and one from the cinematics. They are slightly different so I'm going to do both just for the heck of it. Remember, this doesn't have to be exact science. The goal is to help you feel out your wig before you dive in with those scissors, and give you a comprehensive guide to help you make decisions during the styling process. I'm copying and pasting my two left reference photos next to each other so I can compare them more easily while styling my wig. So for now, I have two references for the left side of the hair, and one anterior view. For the sake of not making this video 30 minutes long, I spared you the hassle of watching me figure out the right side and posterior view of the hair. But it's the same old rinse and repeat. This is just one way I'm going to use a computer to help me with this project, so check out part 2 to see how I work some wig-related magic. <laughs> 